Santiago, thank you for having us in Madrid. Spain is obviously inflamed politically right now. A lot of the world is not paying attention. What do you think is at stake for the West in what's happening here right now? I think it's important for the rest of the world to understand that for many years, Spain has been the testing of ground of extreme wokeness, extreme climate agendas, and incredibly radical gender laws since 2004. Spain is also the gateway to the Islamization of Europe. Given its geographic, it has been one of the main victims of mass immigration. We shouldn't forget the importance of Spain's connections to the of Ibero-America and Latin America. Spain had an outsized influence, although it's not so influential now, but Spain can either slow narco-communism or become the spearhead for narco-communism. We should recognize that Spain is the only country in Europe with communist ministers in our government. That's a dynamic worth understanding, and it should be viewed with concern. Spain's bold climate initiatives and progressive gender laws profoundly impact social norms. These go beyond surface changes, deeply influencing cultural polarization and social cohesion. These radical shifts in Spain's laws shape public discourse and individual identities. They don't just impact collective consciousness, but also affect societal structure and integration. As Spain's geographical context intertwines with these changes, forming a narrative that seeps into societal structure, cultural identity, and the ongoing discourse of social integration. This narrative isn't isolated. It connects Spain to Ibero-American and Latin American realms, shedding light on their social narratives, cultural identities, and political dynamics. Yet, concerns arise about the psychological effects of drug communism in Spain. The presence of a communist minister sparks social unrest and challenges political trust and stability. What do you think?